there's been quite a lot of interest about these bands here that the MyFX book, um, average long price and average short price. Um, so what should happen really is that the retail shouldn't ever be profiting and um, the fact that they are, that is fair play to them. That's um, because they're on the right side, you know, the mi minority, you know, they, they shouldn't always be losing money. But we'll see that is it is uncommon because when retail do make money, they'll exit, you see, and they'll hold on to their losses. So um, it's sentimentally, it's a sell, as you can see up here. But we know that there's a um, stop loss cluster down here. Um, just by looking at the spreadsheet. So the theory would be was that because we know that they um, they exit their winners, so uh, by hitting that stop loss cluster, it will then reset that long short ratio so it won't be as extreme. All right, so it'll hit that and they might move it down, maybe, we don't know, and they might even move it down even more, but inevitably it's gonna, it's gonna reach the train station and once it does, it will, it will settle there for a while and then um, we should see price go back within these parameters because these are normal parameters and we wouldn't expect to see retail making profit. Not normally. I mean, it does happen and it's good it does happen, you know, um, but my, the majority are always at a loss. So because of that reason, we should expect to see price come back in here. Um, I kept the chart quite clean. I haven't put anything on it. If you did want to put a technical oscillator on here, it might be an idea because um, this is just purely sentimental. Um, I've got a moving average on there, so it's the only technical thing I've got. But um, yeah, if you wanted the bands, it's uh, £25. And I can give you the link to that. It's the code is called Robocod, and he was really good and very friendly. And he got back to me within uh, three hours of me paying. So, and it's just a case of uh, getting an EXE file and double clicking and it installs just like the other indicators. Um, so yeah, that's the theory behind it. So down here, hit the train station. It can't go anymore because it's a brick wall because like, you know, 95% is very extreme. It's a brick wall train station and up it comes. And then we'll probably find it does a similar thing where a minority make a little bit of money and then they're like, all right, that's good, job done. And then I'll exit because they rarely hold on to their winners and it will come down. And uh, yeah, so it was zigzag between those bands for a while. Now you could manually put these um, these lines on from the MyFX book Outlook, um, which you should have bookmarked. It's really good. And you can just probably just draw a um, horizontal line to those values. Now, what's good about this is that I don't have to do that because it's done it for me um, as part of the indicator. This will change. And I noticed that it has changed on the pound USD as well. Um, so watching that move in real time could be quite powerful for you. Uh, it's, it's an option anyway. I mean, you don't have to. You can just draw horizontal lines or you can have it automated. Um, but yeah, I, I find it quite useful. And so that's the dollar Swiss. So I just wish everyone a good Christmas and thanks for sticking by. And um, yeah, so I wish you all the best and good luck and happy pips.